the YouTube message. Oh my God, is it windy out here today? It is absolutely brutal. So this is the first time I'm getting the opportunity to stream live on my GoPro. Just want to say a massive thank you, first of all, to Epic Automotive UK. Unbelievable. Thank you so much for all the little support on your posts and to all you new subscribers. Welcome. Hope you're well. And uh, yeah, we're going to get stuck into it today. So. What have I got in here today? I've got a Land Rover. So this is in for a couple of day detail. So this has been dropped off to me this morning. We've got this Land Rover paint. This has got a lot of damage on it. Let's go and grab a torch. But what you'll find is on this vehicle, we've got this really beautiful deep metallic paint, which is fantastic. So these aren't too bad to polish. These type of cars, the Land Rovers are an absolute godsend to polish. You can get some really good results. So just having a little bit of an inspection, have a look around. As you can see, a lot of this stuff here is all wash marring. There is a little bit of overspray there as well, which probably we'll have to get out of the clay bar. It's, uh, I've had a little touchy, touchy, feely, feely. There's a lot of um, contamination on there. So we're going to go through the decontamination process in a bit. As you can see, these cars are about wear and tear, aren't they? You can see those marks all the way around the edges. But yeah, as you can see up close, a little bit wear and tear, but we should be able to get some good results and hide that. And lots of dents on these panels. Obviously you've got some pop rivets as well, but there are some bad dents. You can see some little flat spots here. Actually, that's not a flat spot. That is again, tons and tons of overspray. So we'll see what we can do with that. You can see the difference in clarity on that, obviously. This is why inspections are really, really important. Make sure you go through and document the vehicles if you're doing this as a full-time job. We're gonna try and get some improvement on these areas, as obviously these areas are not good. They're not good. Iron fallout should be able to tackle that quite nicely to get those in. One of the areas that I saw of the flatter panels is up here on the on the top here a lot of deep scratches on here claw marks probably where someone's been sat on it eating their lunch to be honest with you or from dogging who knows could have been a previous owner the guy in question is going to rip these off and get some new ones on which will make the improvement do love the toe and eye winch on it look at that that is quite horny looks nice so yeah so certain areas that we're going to be able to improve certain areas look like they've been sprayed with a rattle can so we're going to get through what we've got to get like lucky enough this is a pal of mine so we can get through as much work as possible to try and get this done it's a shame that certainly certain types of areas are starting to see signs of wear and tear and rust and obviously these little windscreen wipers you know these areas here ceramic coatings are quite good for bringing these back up again stopping them from looking dry and stuff but i think i think the guy said they're not too expensive so he's going to get it done but yeah this is going to be a bit of a project so what i want you to do is i want you to let me know down in the comments section guys i want you to tell me what you think i want to know what your combinations are i want to know if you want any advice i want to know if you want any tips tips and tricks um let's let's do this as an introductory thing let's see how this goes this is a new style of content for me normally i spend 50 hours editing but i want to run and gun i want to try and get some work done while i'm talking to you guys pop some videos out keep you updated with what i'm doing i'm going to keep the videos to about seven minutes so that you guys don't get bored and run away i want to create more of a a connection with you guys i want to make sure that we can talk to each other you can help me out with this kind of thing so you can communicate with me about what you want to do and uh, no question is a stupid question because i think you know when i first started this detailing larky uh, a couple of years ago i didn't know a goddamn thing and i just asked questions after questions after questions and when i'm on certain forums it's incredible to see what questions are asked and they're obvious now but detailing creates so much anxiety when you're working on someone else's car or when you're working with cars or working with your own cars and you, you know on these social sites you sometimes get absolutely battered for making mistakes and we need to erase that we need to erase that mentality we need to be able to make mistakes show our mistakes oh fuck off show how we can improve it all comes together to make ourselves better at this job because it is something that we enjoy you love it <laughs> all right then guys listen this is the land rover discovery i'm johnny shield detailing and we are gonna get stuck in see you in a bit